What's up y'all? Brent Brown coming at you with another Wisdom Wednesday, but on this one I'm actually referring to a specific group of people, and those are musicians who are just getting into recording. Or if you do record and you're just curious on my perspective on how I start a track. Now, typically, you just, no, you always have to write a good song first. So write a good song, make sure you can play it on the acoustic guitar or the electric guitar or the piano or whatever it is and sing with it. And just make sure that that alone is good enough for the song to sound good. Because if that's the case, then it's going to be way easy moving forward. Once you establish that, what I do, and maybe this is cheating, but honestly it helps me so much. I select the BPM, so the beats per minute, how fast the song is, and then I make the drum beat in a MIDI uh, computerized form first. So I'll just do like a kick drum, say I want it to be like boom, 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 and that's like the beat. Uh, with the snare too and sometimes I'll throw in a hi-hat for subdivision because uh, you know you want to make sure you have a really good track to play with so that when you lay down that first thing everything else can gel on top of it that because if you start off on your first thing and it's not tight everything else you lay on top of that is going to be a little off and you're going to have to go back around go through the whole thing again and do everything over to get it tight again so first off start with your beat and even on the bridges and on the choruses change the beat to how you want it if there's hits before you even go through the whole rest of the song decide where you want your hits to be because you want to build your hits in if if you're a solo person recording something even if you've got a band and you're not all tracking at once you're gonna want to establish where the hits are where all the level changes are and you can edit that in to MIDI drums too. You can you can bring down the levels as you go. Um, I use Reason for this. Um, I know a lot of folks use Pro Tools and Logic, but for some, for some reason I got locked into Reason early on because I liked making beats. Uh, I wrote poetry and was doing kind of like a little bit of a rap thing before I started playing guitar and singing. Uh, so anyways, yeah, once you get that beat down, lay down that first primary instrument that I was talking about, whatever that is for you and then uh, do a scratch take of vocals. And then you can really decide from there. I like to maybe do bass next, then start layering away. But really, it's so important that you establish the tempo first. If there's any tempo changes, you're gonna wanna do that too with the drums, if you have the option of, of mapping out your tempo changes, because that can really make a song uh, powerful if at the chorus you wanna step it up a notch, or the second half of the song is faster than the first half. And uh, it's all about building realism into something that you want as perfect as can be because we have the option now in the digital world to make stuff really sweet and real sounding, but glitch free, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope that helped you. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Once again, my name is Brent Brown. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and music.